Welcome to another week of Dan Really Likes Wine with Pick and Pay. We're on location this week at the Johannesburg Cup Classique and Champagne Festival with Sunland Private Wealth. It's a wonderful celebration of South Africa's finest bubbles, France's favourite bubbles and the very best of Italian as well. Throw in some live music and some food trucks and I think I'm set for a pretty good afternoon. So Darielle Robertson might well be the single most influential woman in the wine industry in South Africa. She's the genius behind putting together the Cape Wine Auction, which you would have seen on Dan Really Likes Wine a few weeks ago. And amongst the thousands of other wine events she does is this one. Thank you for coming to Johannesburg and thank you for giving us so much wonderful bubbles. I love coming to Joburg, so you don't have to thank me for that. <laughs> it's a great festival, this, and it focuses around something that I absolutely love, which is South African bubbles. There's some French stuff as well. They're trying to make it as well as we are. They're not quite Try. there. Yeah, trying. Uh, but it's, it's a terrific selection and a great celebration of what our winemakers are doing in South Africa. Yeah, do you know what, Dan? It's so often that people come to these festivals and the first thing they want to do is drink French. And so what I've tried to do is divide it between the French, the Italian and the South Africans. Give people tasting coupons so that they can go and taste the French and then go and taste the South African. And they will be blown away with the standard of, of MCCs in this country. I mean, they really are phenomenal. What have we got here this weekend? What have we got to look forward to? So for the first time ever at a show, we've got Bollinger. We've also got Mum Champagne, uh, Nicolas Fouliat and Luc Ballet. Then on the Italian side, we've got De Luca Prosecco and Valdo Prosecco, Tari, which I haven't tasted before, and Martini Prosecco. Okay. And then the South Africans, we've got our bigger names, like our Simon Suk, our Valera, our Grand Vic, uh, Lomaraz there. And then we've got smaller, more boutique. Um, MCCs like your Sarensburg, your Silverthorn, which is just incredible at the moment, uh, Black Elephants here, so you really have a huge selection. It's going to make for a very long afternoon, it's not just about drinking the champagne though, you've also got some food trucks I can see out of the corner of my eye, and just a, a great location to live it up over the weekend. I think gone are the days of a straight wine tasting, people want a lifestyle event, they want something that they can come and enjoy the whole day at, and that's what we plan to give them. I love talking to you and you're looking wonderful today. How However, I'm afraid the champagne is calling me, so I'm going to head off, find myself a glass and taste some great French, Italian and South African bubbles and have a wonderful Saturday afternoon. The last time I saw this chiseled gentleman, he was on a bicycle cruising through the Absa Cape Epic with absolutely no trouble whatsoever. And now I know why. This is what his diet is. Black Elephant, it's a brand I've got a very soft spot for because uh, some good friends involved, including your partner Raymond yeah. of Louisville, my, uh, my fellow countryman. Uh, I've had some of your wine, but I haven't had your cup for seek. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the bubbly was basically the first one we made back in, in 2012. Uh, we had a tank and we had to fill the tank. And the only way to fill the tank was to put the two grapes, the Chardonnay and the Pinot Noir together in the same press and there we went. The blend has always been 75-25 and I think we go for sort of a modern style. Uh, we've got beautiful sort of citrus flavors, white fruit flavors and sort of less of the biscuity um, brioche style that we go for. So sort of a modern new world style of bubbly that we focus on. It's been a great addition to the wine mm. offering of Franco. Talk us through the Black Elephant name. Yeah, so Black Elephant basically started, or, or the, the name came from uh, my two partners, Raymond and Kevin. Kevin's surname is Swat, so Black. Raymond's in Lovu, that's Zulu for, for elephant. Uh, my surname is Wenzel, it's not a, a, a colour or animal. So I'm the vintner, I make the wine and look after the grapes. Alright, well yeah. you poured me a glass very kindly, this yeah. is my first one of the day. I think, Jacques, I might have just found my new favourite breakfast. Yeah, cool, man. Go like for it. it. So, I guess it's the only wine that you're not frowned upon when you when you have it for breakfast. So, <laughs> so go for it. Eh? Of course, you can have it through the rest of the day. This is lovely, Jacques. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. One down, 612 to go. Good luck. So the art of winemaking in South Africa used to be the sole preserve of very, very, very old men. That is changing and none too soon. And one of the most exciting female winemakers we have in South Africa is Zani, who is with Lomorin and responsible for this fantastic bubbles. It's yeah. lovely to be here. Talk to me about this and, and why for you it's so special. 
this is the special one for me because it's 100% Chardonnay. Um, we call it our um, Blanc de Blanc. It's 2013. It's got a little bit of wood on it. Very, you get the biscotti nose on it and all the fruit flavors from the two places that we um, get the grapes from. So 2013, this is six years old. For people who are maybe still learning a bit about bubbles, how important is it to give a bit of age to a Cup Classic? If it stays on the lease um, for a couple of years, you get all that good flavors that you need in an MCC or a champagne. So it takes time to make a good wine. Well, this is one I've had before, so I know it's very good, but I'm happy to have some more. <laughs> oh, she's got lovely, tasty croissanty nose. Mm. Oh, that is great. And you can taste it's a little bit older. It's just got a little bit more structure to it, yeah. a little bit more depth to it. And it's another one down from Lomaran, beautiful part of the Cape, touching down in Johannesburg with some really good and slightly vintage Cap Classic. A big part of my love of wine comes from my mum. She's a very enthusiastic drinker and will have Prosecco at any given moment. So whenever I'm visiting her in Belfast, in Northern Ireland, where she lives, there are always a few bottles of Italy's finest in the fridge. We don't see quite so much Prosecco in South Africa, although that is starting to change. And this is one of the brands we've got here today. Uh, Lorato, uh, I thought this would be from Verona because it's Sartori di Verona, but it's actually not. No, it's not. It's actually from um, Trevino in Italy and um, it is our beautiful Satori Prosecco with um, a bit of light fizz in it. It is made from 100% Glera grapes and yeah, 12 grams of sugar. So not too sweet. Which sounds perfect. It looks like, I love the packaging. It's very minimalist, it's very striking. Yes, yes. On the outside it looks fantastic. Very I'd elegant. like to know what it's like on the inside though. Any chance of a glass? Absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. You see that the colour here is so light that just screams elegance. And I'm really looking forward to trying this because uh, quite often in the past when I've had Prosecco, my one qualm with it is that I sometimes find it's just a little bit too sweet and it lacks some of the depth of a Cap Classico Champagne. No, obviously because it's made from the Charmant Method, which is a completely different process to Champagne or MCC. So it's an open fermentation tank. So yeah, that's why you will never get the vigour of the big bubbles. Oh, that's good. And it doesn't have that lingering sweetness that you occasionally get from Prosecco. Absolutely. Possibly the slightly cheaper Prosecco, in all fairness. Uh, <laughs> this is lovely. This is available in South Africa? It's available in South Africa. It's distributed by a company called DGB. And um, yeah, you can find it in most liquor stores. Um, it's retailing for about 120, 130 rand, okay. which is not too bad. Not I think all. it's nicely priced. And for that quality of wine, for an imported product, I think it's a steal. So there we go. Of course, it's a lot cheaper because Lorato just smuggles it all in South Africa in a suitcase. <laughs> but it's really nice. If you haven't had Prosecco before, I think this will be a nice introduction. It's not overly sweet. It's got a nice elegance to it. It's really light, not too bubbly. If you don't want something that just explodes in your mouth, but rather enters it a little more gently, then this is a pretty good bet. And there are many great things about this festival. Chief amongst them is the place that is awash with Zimbabweans. So Raymond and Global from Black Elephant is wandering around drinking everything inside. But also here from Graham Beck is Ronald. Uh, great to be here with a, a brand that is so well known around the world. Yes. Had Barack Obama drink it at his inauguration. You see Graham Beck everywhere. Uh, and it's been an interesting few years for you guys because you used to make some lovely red wine and white wine, which I thoroughly enjoyed. But now it's just the bubbles. Yeah, we took the decision in 2015 to just focus on bubbles. The reason for that is because even when we were still producing steel wines anyway, more than 60% of the business was still bubbles. So we realized that we need to narrow our focus so that the business can grow. It clearly worked for you because you're doing incredibly well, not yes. just as a bubbles brand, but as a South African brand. Yes. And you've got quite a big range. How big is that range? What do you have in it? At the moment, we've got seven products in our portfolio. We've got the three non vintage collection, which is the Brut, the Brut Rosé, and the Demi Sec. In our vintage collection, we've got the Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% Chardonnay. We've got the Pinot Noir Brut Rosé, which is 100% Pinot Noir. And we've got the Brut Zero, which is zero added sugar. And our Cuvée Clive, which is our signature in the range. But we don't have the Cuvée Clive here, unfortunately, today. What are we drinking here? What, uh, what's in this? This is the Blanc de Blanc, which is 100% yep. Chardonnay, 48 months on the lease. 48? Yeah, 48 months on the lease. 
I'm going to give this a go. So this is 48 months. That's four years. Yes. That's like on the lease. Yes. Oh. Oh, that's got a beautiful nose, doesn't it? Mm. Oh. Ah, mm. This is amazing. It basically, you close your eyes and you're sitting in a bakery in Paris. Not just great bubbles, but a great sort of having a success story. It's become iconic around the world. Huge investments, not just money, but time as well. And the results are very, very yes. appreciable on the palate. Thanks, Ronald. It's the result of consistency. Thanks, Leon. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Leon. There are many things the French love, a great meal, good football, a hatred of the English. They're also rather good at making champagne, which if you don't know, is what they have to call Cap Classique because it's made there as opposed to South Africa. And they do do a rather good job of it. Uh, and this is one of the foremost brands. And, uh, Paul, it's a brand that it really gets a, it's an icon in champagne is Bollinger. Uh, France certainly, but also in South Africa. Most definitely. It's uh, one of the few vintage champagnes left in the world. Um, all the bubbles that they make are vintage and are used, um, are also barrel fermented, which makes it quite unique. It's not a brand you often see at a wine show, so we're very lucky to have you guys here, and you're showcasing uh, this, uh, this champagne. And there's just something about French champagne that just screams sophistication and elegance, and if you want to celebrate, a bottle of French champagne is kind of where you head. Most definitely, and I think, I mean, we often say, particularly at a show when you've only got a few minutes to tell somebody about a Bollinger, I mean, James Bond drinks it in every single one of his films. He must know something about champagne. Um, but there's just something about the, 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 the mousse of this, the, this, these bubbles that just is so unique and so different to anything else that we sell. And um, we certainly would like to see it in more places. We'd like to see, to see people share it at their weddings and hopefully by showcasing it at an event like this, more people will be familiar with what, what Bollinger does and how unique it actually is. Just looking at it, the, the, the tiny little bubbles coming through, it's a glorious color, oh, beautiful nose. Oh, that is very, very, very nice. Mm. I might just have to have one more sip just to be sure. Mm. So there we go. And, uh, the great thing about this is it's freely available across South Africa. Very much and so. Very easy to get hold of and very easy to celebrate with. Very much so. Thank you. And very easy to drink. Cheers. One of the debates that a day like today will always encourage is France versus South Africa. Champagne versus Cap Classique. How are we doing? How are the French doing? How do we compare? It might not settle the debate, but there are a few better people to have the debate with than one of South Africa's wine icons up there with Van de Constance and uh, anything else we make. Harry from Norman Goodfellow, who's been drinking wine for hundreds of years, <laughs> and they're doing so with great enthusiasm. It's, it, for me, it's just great that we even have the debate, because it says that whether you prefer champagne or Cap Classique, it says that Cap Classique, at its top end, is going very much toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of France. I couldn't agree more. We, especially in South Africa, we are making fantastic quality bubblies. As you say, on a par with a lot of the champagnes, champagne, Makers, winemakers probably not like to hear me say that, but it is. You take the likes of a Graham Beck that's got a track record of how many years, that you Peter Ferreira, Bubbles Ferreira, he's one of the top, top, top producers, Valera, Lormoran, all of them making fabulous quality bubbles, but hey, who doesn't love French bubbly? There is something to it, and it's just that, that knowledge you've got a glass of French bubbles in your hand and puts I know. A, a spring in your step, and that's exactly what we've got now. We've got from Nicolas Fiat. Should we have a sip? I think we should. Uh, what is this we're drinking? This, this is Brut Rosé. Brut Rosé. Yeah, they've got new packaging, which is really, really pretty. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they've got new packaging. And the ordinary, the ordinary Brut is even prettier. How lovely is that? Let's give this a go. I've been looking forward to this. Strawberry sherbet. Yeah, there's a there's a richness you don't always get to that drier, uh, regular sort of a textured, eh? Hey? Yeah. Nicely textured, nicely mouth filling. Nice depth to it. Yep. Oh, Layers, we like it. Enormously, enormously. Strawberries. Are we only getting one glass? They're not going to give us a. 
a taste of the Palme d'Or, I thought, perhaps. Uh, of course, this is Carrie saying this on camera. This is the 17th take we've done because <laughs> she's had 16 of them already. Uh, it, it is lovely, and uh, again, it speaks to what we said at the very start. It's the very best of France. We're surrounded by the very best of South Africa as well. Yes. Uh, and it's like watching a prize fight. It's the very best of the very best having a, a great crack at each other, and, and we get to reap the rewards. And I get to see Dan. There we go. Perfect day for Carrie, perfect day for me as well. Drinking French champagne, we can live with that. The festival's got plenty of brands you'll recognise, be it a top South African label like Grand Beck, a top French label like Bollinger, some of the Italian Prosecco you might recognise as well, but there are also a couple of great discoveries, and while it's not new to me, it may well be new to you if you come along, it's Silverthorn. You guys have had a great success story, John, over the last few years. You've gone from nobody knows who you are to, gee, this is one of the definitive uh, small producers in South Africa making some really, really special bubbles. Thank you very much. Good to hear. Look, our, our whole idea, I'm incredibly passionate about bubbly uh, and in particular about uh, terroir bubbly. So my inspiration very much uh, champagne growers, not the big brands, although I do like uh, Bollinger and Krug and I've used that in like, for example, Jewel Box. But we really like expressing uh, small, focused, old veneer terroir specific bubblies. And yeah, it's been great to actually come out and share that kind of gospel with people. This is at the heart of what Silverthorn is, is the green man. Which makes it the ideal one to taste given that we are here, so let's give it a go. Yeah. Mm. Freshness. Oh yeah. Biscuitiness that comes through. Yeah. Uh, mm. White fruit. Pear, quince and apple, especially apples. You get that real apple zestiness that comes mm. But the emphasis now is on freshness and purity. Mm. Which makes this the perfect note on which to end this week's episode of Dan Really Likes Wine. It's been a great collection today, but take that as possibly your, your best learning from this particular episode, in that you don't need to just buy the bottle and drink it. The art of ageing and the value in ageing. A bottle of Cup Classique or Champagne or Prosecco is definitely there. And if it just happens to be a green man from the guys at Silverthorn, well, so much the better. If you're still learning your way around the art of bubbles, jump on to Pick and Pay. Have a look at their online section. They've got some terrific stuff. But also, find your way around the country. Go and visit places like these and you'll make some really great discoveries and understand why I firmly believe that as good as French Champagne is, South Africa's bubbles are every bit as good. Cheers.